Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene. And today I have a treat for you guys. I have a Bible, two Bibles in my possession that do not have writing or highlighted in them. Actually, I have more than that, but you get what I'm going with this. I actually have my MacArthur Study Bible, which as much as I possibly can, I will try my best to keep it at a minimum of maybe highlighting, but definitely no writing. Um, but this particular Bible, this is the Life Application Study Bible, NIV, large print. It was gifted to us. I, I've had it for about two years, I wanna say now, and because it was a shared product, I didn't do anything to it and I made it my business not to do it so that it won't be just like, well, this is what I want to do and how I study. So this Bible was left in the back of our bed and we were reading and study from it. Well, since then, my husband is going to say, okay, you can have it because he's uh, NIV is like his least favorite translation. So I'm like, okay, that was my most read translation at the time. So I took it and it's large print and I kept it at in the room for a really long time but what happens when you're not feeling the bible that much or you're not able to you know be you you don't really use it and that's what happened like i just didn't use it so it went from the bedroom to the living room in hopes that okay wherever it is it will be used but that barely hardly ever happened so today i'm going to take the first step i'm making this video as an example to each and every person who says you know what i'm ready Let's do this, or you need a little more push, a little more motivation, or a little more encouragement, or you want to be a witness to someone who's actually in your shoes. Now, I have plenty of Bibles, and almost all of them have been written in or highlighted in. You may say, I'm not the person for you to watch. Maybe you're fresh, fresh. I understand that. But I'm literally showing you guys a Bible that I did no highlighting or writing in whatsoever in hopes to encourage you. And I'm going to show it to you. And it was given to us in this case, just like this. I did manage to tab, which, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm, I tabbed it and put it in the case. And this happens because the cases aren't designed for tab. So you got to be careful with that. But anyway, so like I said, this is the NIV Bible. I try to have some type of color scheme going on here. I got the pen. The Bible is completely black. It is a big boy, as you can see. Really big Bible. Um, floor tabs, which I got these tabs to go into. Like Y'all know how I do. I get tabs to go in one Bible, and then when I get it, I don't like it. So I just say, okay, this is perfect because this Bible is covered, and it's not really a big deal. But if only I could go back in time, <laughs> I probably would not have done that. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Like I said, brand new Bible, brand new. No writing, no highlighting whatsoever. In this particular Bible, I am going to highlight something. Um, uh, I reached out to you guys. You guys provided me with some scriptures. So let's go to let's go to Isaiah forty. And 31. That was a scripture that was given to me. Got one ribbon. Well, actually got two ribbons. Two ribbons. Awesome. Maybe I should use this more. The goal is to use it more often anyway. But y'all know me. I'm so indecisive and all over the place. I say that and then the Bible gets gone. But I really do love the concept behind that life application Bible. It's really simple, short, and sweet and to the point. I don't really consider it a study, study Bible, but, you know, it gets the job done. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you rely on the Holy Spirit anyway. All right. So, Isaiah 40. 40 and 31. Got something in here. Or maybe not. I don't know. It looks like it was. Maybe it was already in there. All right. Distracted. Sorry. All right. 40, 31. Ah, oh, the last verse. All right. Let's zoom in here. All right. I am nervous, I am anxious, I feel indifferent right now, like I wanna run away. I wanna do everything but marking this Bible because it's a brand new, fresh, it was not brand new, but it's a fresh Bible. Haven't done it before. 
But again, I want to do this on camera to help those who may be struggling with making the first mark. And please, I can't stress this enough, do not make a mark because somebody else is making a mark. You make a mark because you actually want to. You're actually clinging to God, you're in his word, and you just felt compelled to do so. Like, or you plan on studying further, or you just want it to pop out on the page for you um, when you flip to that page. Like, make sure your reasons are legit and not just playing copycat or, you know, the whole monkey see, monkey do thing. Make sure this is something you want to do. And once you made your mind up, I'm here. Which color should we use? Let's go pink. First, let's read the scripture. It looks like a continuance of a scripture. So you know, we got to get the context. We have verse 31 says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So let's go back up a little. Let's see what we're talking about. Verse 30, even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do some highlighting. And I'm actually, because it's two different verses, I am going to do two different colors because of context and understanding. You guys know that I have, this is a jot highlighter from Dollar Tree. It's dual sided. It's meant to mimic and copy the very famous uh, mouth liner. All right, so yellow first. So let's highlight that first. Classic yellow. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now these pages are thin, as you can see. They are thin. And these highlighters are hard, which is why I typically use this side. Still get the job done, as you can see. But these pages are super duper thin, which is why I was very selective on the highlighter, um, which I keep these, I put them in the front of this because I only want to use these lighter colors because they are thin and I know there's gonna be some bleed through if I try to use any of the other ones. So keep it very light, short, simple, sweet, to the point. But yeah, we made our first marking, yay. And to go a step further, because I know I said writing, right? So I have pens here, but I want to be very particular with this point because, which I gotta change that probably, because these are thin pages. So it will only make sense to use, um, what do you call these pens? Uh, two options. I can either use the Micron, which I probably will, or, this other pen I have, which I don't have it right here with me. Where is it? Gotta go get it. Still here. Gotta be careful. All right, so. And I can just write over here, something short and simple and sweet um, to encourage me. Okay, so these pens, I feel like were definitely made for thin papers. This is the High Tech Pilot. I just wrote a really short, inspiring message. I said, everyone has a moment where they give up. Wait, I skipped the word. Yeah. It's supposed to say everyone has a moment where they feel like giving up, but not everyone gives up. Then I put, run to God and let him carry you. 
So obviously when we grow weary, we grow faint, we run to God, let him carry us. You know, sometimes it does get hard. Sometimes our loads do get heavy, but no problem is too big for him. No amount of burden is too heavy. We have to remember that. Um, so yeah, you just see me mess up. <laughs> um, highlight was a little thick up here. It's okay. You know, that's what happens when you bear down hard, but those are, they kind of tough because they're cheap. And then, which you guys also can see why I prefer to turn the highlight of the, I, I prefer this bottom, the finer tip. I prefer that over this side. But this side is more, it's darker, like it's more evident. And these are really light pastel colors. Um, but like I said, I don't plan on using anything more or less in this particular Bible anyway. I, I plan on keeping it real simple. Um, the pen is perfect. It writes small. I don't hardly have any margin, so that's great. Um, what else can I say? You can see a little bit on the side, uh, back, a little shadow in a little, just a tad bit, but it's nothing to worry about. But I made my first marking in this Bible. So this bi Bible is officially loved. It's officially used. We buy Bibles to use them. Plain and simple, right? Like it's not intended for us just to sit there and have them collect. Literally this Bible was collecting dust. And I wanted to make a video showing you guys that it can be done no matter how nervous and anxious you are, no matter how scared you are, just do it. Just do it. And even if you want to practice, like you can practice like on a piece of paper and you know, or a sticky note, but do what's best for you. I know for me, I'm a really, really dysfunctional, organized, disorganized person sometimes. So it's best for me to have everything in one place. So writing in my Bible helps me to keep things in one spot. So that's cleaner and neater for me and just more organized. But you do what's best for you. So I just thought I'd just make this video to encourage and help you make the first mark. And I hope I've done that successfully. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.